hello hello and welcome again thank you for uh, watching this video this is a quick uh, walk through how we come up with this uh, simulation of uh, water pool tank and some uh, yellowish boxes uh, falling down uh, on this water and the water splash everywhere on the ground and I'm using here feedback so the water also push the as you can see here so the, uh, the water will push back see how they are moving the water is pushing back the cubes so they stay floating green water this is another view also I'm using grid shift for the rendering also but I went down with the resolution because it's taking too much time also and this is glass and this is a caustic also okay so this is the scene I have uh, three cameras for a couple of views uh, a dome light in V-Ray not V-Ray in uh, Redshift also here uh, I have a grid and I'm sta uh, starting with the boxes so one box that I copy two points on a grid this is the grid so I have these boxes it's just a straightforward uh, packed RVD simulation here not here here I started with a box that I uh, scale it a little bit in these two direction and lift it up so I did the boolean operation subtraction so I have the tag this is grid also so and they make it as a, a collider static collider then I went here first to, the, to this top network this is the static part I have a ground plane this is the pool tank and this is how it looks using volume sample and pointing to the proxy to the VDB so we have this resolution so it's water sealed otherwise the water will escape and it will disappear I have the rigid body uh, connected and this is how it look because I give it a force 10 in the X and minus 2 and some rotation also I have uh, the flip fluid here I use the surface soap I didn't use normal band this is the resolution I went with 0.04 here the normal band is off and resetting is on and I use droplet also and vorticity so they gather together here here I use splashy even swirl will work also so after 
this one uh, before that one this is the not this one this is the not this one I'm lost yeah this is the one so I imported the fluid from the top compression applied and then I cache it it here I think let me see yeah, let's view this one boxes it's the compression version but you can use particle fluid surface that I also cached I kept it with the same separation added some erosion and I cache it this is how it looks Water is everywhere. And maybe I need to extend the walls of the pool. So this is all the first part. Then I wanted to create the white water. So this is the white water source. It's pointing to the fluid uh, object. Here I used the default one for the emission and the curvature. Same acceleration and no volume. I cache it so this is where the splash is uh, being detected so we can uh, emit particle and volume and white water from it simulation I added the same uh, collision parts this is uh, the static part and this is the RPD there's no need to say uh, to catch them they are very light and here I use the same setting for the uh, container size and I point it to the outwater Then I imported it and I cache it. Maybe I can uh, color. My attribute. Let's use the velocity. This is the 
points and the particles that's been generated not that much because I went with the resolution and here is the default set setting uh, for the density being rasterized so this is the volume VDP out of it. What if I merge also this? setting for the water itself and the transmission color I went a little bit with blue and that are just a regular shader so this is the end result did it as a chain so these are the simulation and these are the cameras there is motion blur and caustic also enabled so this is just a quick run through the setup of this uh, simulation thank you very much thank you